Uh, hi there, this is Elisha and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem that has to do with properties of a circle. This is actually a problem which was extracted from Mathematics Paper 1 2023. So I urge you to watch the video from the beginning to the end. Because at the end of the video, I'm going to show you an app with which you can actually make real, real money. And thereafter, I'm going to give you the links through which you can actually contact me. Without any further ado, let's take a ride. Okay, so now, here is the problem. They're saying in the diagram, A, B, C, and D are points on the circumference of a circle with center O. So the points are these. This is point A, point B, point C, and point D. Then this is actually the center. BD is equal to AD. BD is equal to AD. Hence, those marks. And angle ADB, ADB is equal to 40 degrees. Find AOB. A or B. So here we will simply be applying the theorems. So we indicate here to say you're finding solutions. This angle which is at the center is actually twice the angle which is on the circumference. So if we happen to have this, what we're going to have is that. So that's the first theorem. The angle at the center is twice the angle on the circumference. So we're gonna say number one A O B is equal to two times A D B A D B. So here we go. We can write two times we now write angle A D B. ADB is actually a 40. So that would be 80 degrees. So we said therefore, angle AOB is equal to 80 degrees. We can actually indicate that 80 degrees here. Okay, so from here now, we need to move on to the second problem. The same find BCD. BCD. This angle here. So how do you determine that angle? Okay. So now, when we look at this shape that we have, we're going to realize that all the vertices are touching the circumference of the circle. So if all the vertices are touching the circumference of the circle, then what we have is actually the cyclic quadrilateral. And the theorem about cyclic quadrilaterals is that opposite angles add up to 180. So if we know this angle here, then we can easily determine that one because the two angles add up to 180. Even though the diagram has a bit drawn one, this one is opposite to that one, that angle is opposite to that one. So now, the question is, what is the size of this angle and that angle? So since we know this angle, we can determine that angle and that angle. Since we know that angle, we can determine, of course, yeah, we can determine the entire angle here. All right, so here we go. We are going to make use of this one. We said, uh, <clears throat> this angle here, which is 40 degrees, will be added to, we'll take it that we we have this here, and we are hiding the, the inner triangle, this one here. So we are taking it that we, are, we only have the outer triangle, and the sides of this, this triangle are equal. So if the two sides are equal, 
then we need to know that we are dealing with an isosceles triangle. So an isosceles triangle has the best angles which are equal, and only one angle is different, which is the one which is on top. So then we are going to name these base angles from here to there, from here to there, as a x and the other one x. Since we don't know the values, we name them x should equal to 180. This has actually been formulated through the eye of the theorem that angles on the inside of the triangle add up to 180. So let's finish up this. 40 degrees plus x plus x, that is 2x, which is equal to 180 degrees. Then this one will actually we move that side by bringing in the additive inverse of 40 even that side we do the same so 40 minus 40 that will give us a zero and we'll remain with 2x which is equal to 180 minus 40 that will give us 140 degrees then our interest is to find x so we'll get rid of 2 by dividing it both sides so x is equal to doing 2 14 that's 7 so that's 70 degrees, 70 degrees. So from here to there, that is 70 degrees. Then from here to there, that's 70 degrees. So 70 plus 70, that's 140, plus 40, that's 180. So X, this one here, is actually 70 degrees. So now, the question is, what is the value of this cell? This angle is opposite that one. So opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180. So say that 70 degrees plus angle BCD BCD should actually give us 180 degrees. So we need to get rid of this 70 minus 70, even that side minus 70. This will give us a zero. Then angle BCD is equal to 110 degrees. So this angle here is 110 degrees. Let's move on to the third one. One, two, three. Let's say you calculate OBD. So OBD, where is OBD? OBD. So we'll take it that we don't know the values of the, the, the entire angles from here to there. And from that to that. So for us to determine the value of this angle, we need to make use of this one. So that we find, we take it that we have, we, have, we simply pull out the interior triangle, which is like this. So there is a ET here, then we don't know the values of the best angles. We name them XX. So say X plus X, plus 80 should give us 180 degrees. This will give us 2x plus 80, which is equal to 180 degrees. So we need to get rid of this one. That will be minus 80, minus 80. So that will give us a zero, and we'll have 2x, which is equal to 180 minus 80. That will be 100. We we'll say to the, to there. And then x is equal to 2 in 200. That's actually 50 degrees. So these are 50, the base angles. 50 degrees, that one, 50 degrees. But remember, we had found, let me, let me separate them. So from here to there is 50 degrees. Then from here to there, it's 70 degrees. That's what we have so far. Now what they want us to find is this angle here. So equally, this side we have a 50 on the inside, and from here to there is 70 degrees. So OBD, what is OBD? So if the entire angle here is 70, and we subtract a 50, what are we going to remain with? So we say OBD is equal to uh, 
70 degrees minus 50 degrees, which gives us a 20 degrees. So this one, therefore, OBD is equal to 20 degrees. So friends, that's how that problem ought to be solved. Don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to like. Now, I'd actually promise that I would actually tell you about an app with which you can make real money. Now, the app is actually Popo Live. It may sound like a story, but I've actually withdrawn so many times. I will stand in front of you telling you about the app if I haven't got a testimony to tell you. So now for you to install that app, you need to check out the link in the description section. I'm actually plant, I'm going to plant the link on which you're going to click so that you install the app. After you install it, there are other links that I will leave so that you're able to watch the videos on how to, to set up the account and how to begin to make money. You need some person to guide you. You also need to be under the agency of an agent and I'm an agent there. So the best that you can ever do is to get back here and drop a message that you've actually installed the app. After you've done that, I'll actually send you the link that 